Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. Out at the range today with heavy metal. Today we're talking 9mm and does the speed of that 9mm boo lot make a hill of beans or can you just pick up anything? So, a couple things we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and get some nerdy stuff out of the way with the chronograph. I brought three different types. A 115 grain, a 108 grain, and then a 50 grain. Yep, you heard it. A 50 grain, 9mm. And we're going to get the speeds on the chronograph. I've got a longer barrel carbine. We'll get some more long barrel data for you guys that want to know that stuff. And then we're going to line up these watermelons. And that's going to be our evidence of does the speed of your 9mm make a hill of beans or not. Looks like I just dropped the 50 grainer. Uh, but yeah, should be pretty cool. See the damage with the different types of speeds on the watermelon. So let me take you over to the table. We'll show you everything up close, what we're flinging, and it'll be pretty cool. Get some numbers and get some splody bits out here. But I'm going to be flinging all this 9mm out of my Smith Model 59. This is a sweet, sweet 9mm that I carry a lot in the wintertime, but let's check it out. All right, so here's kind of our setup today. I already showed you my Smith 59 there, nickel plated. We got the high point carbine. Everybody loves that high point 995. Now, what blue lights are we slinging? Let me show them to you this way. So right here is the 50 grain on the box it says claims 2,040 feet per second. But look at how hollow that is. That's where they're saving a lot of that weight. Crazy hollow point claiming crazy speed. But I've already tested this through several 9 millimeters, and it cycles even though it's really light. The funny thing is about this stuff is so light, you pick up the box, you, fit, you feel like it's empty, like there's nothing in there, but that's full of blue lots. 50 grainer. We'll save that one for last. And then we've got some of this Norma 108 grain. A lot of people would say that that's light for caliber 9 millimeter too. This is more of a, you can see the picture there. It says right there, monolithic hollow point, as opposed to that one being a crazy wild hollow point, real fast. What's the speed on this say? 1312, so we'll see if, how close that is too. And then we got some Remington 9mm. This is the 115 grain range bucket from Remington. Now I know quite a few people that also carry full metal jacket and their claim is well they want it to be able to go through car doors and walls and stuff like that if they needed to but whatever floats your boat uh, but you ought to be carrying anyways let's get some speeds on these first we'll do a couple through the chronograph we'll start with the Remington 115 full metal jacket go to the normal 108 then the Liberty Civil Defense 50 grainer ought to be pretty cool to set up the chronograph all right, now here we go. Three of those 115 grain Remingtons. The bucket here says 1145 feet per second. Let's see what the chronograph reads. We'll do three of them here. 1116. 1147. About what the box says. 1158. So we'll call the average on those Remingtons. 11.35 ish. Now let's do the Normas. Now those Norma monolithic hollow points. 108 grain. The box says 1300 feet per second. So this is a pretty standard length barrel in this Smith 59. Let's see how close to 1300 these Normas get. 11.59, so they're stretching it, aren't they? Ooh, only, uh, only Remington's telling the truth so far, y'all. Y'all know I'm a Remington fan. Data sample set of three, even those lighter Normas are going slower than those heavier Remingtons. There's some science to it. Maybe that's the perfect speed to get those suckers to expand, you know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to poo-poo on it. That stuff's probably some pretty good stuff. But that's not what the box says. Come on, man. Now, let's go to these little crazy babies, the 50 grainers. Those Liberty Civil Defense Rounds. Another thing, too, if you're carrying something so light, like I said, I felt like the box had nothing in it, but it was full. 
that's also that much less weight that you're carrying on your hip so hmm maybe there's something else there too but this box says 2040 feet per second I'll show you on the box there again 2040 feet per second let's see what happens 2000 out of a Smith pretty standard bear length let's see what happens how close we get to the 2000 here 2,096. That's even faster than the box. Woo, son. Y'all know that never happens. 2,109. Faster that much more. 2,200. My goodness. Everyone always wants to talk about that. Oh, what the box says. That's out of a 30-inch barrel. You know what I'm saying? And they're fudging the numbers. Well, they're not fudging those numbers. They're actually downplaying their numbers. Uh, let's put some of those civil defense out of the carbine here. We're going to do three more. Three more out of the carbine. If that five inch, four and a half or five inch barrel does 2200, what do you think this 16 inch barrel is going to do? I don't even know what to guess. I'm going to go 2500. Let's do 2500. Then after this we'll go to those watermelons and we'll just Go to that watermelon evidence on does the speed matter? Let's see what happens. Now here's three out of the high point now. I have never tried this stuff in the high point. I assume it'll cycle because it uh, cycles the sidearms, but here's some of that 50 grain stuff that we just got. You can see it on the chronograph, 2200 feet per second. See how fast it goes out of this carbine here. Try not to hit the chronograph. 2614, even faster than what I guessed. Did it cycle though? I'm wondering. Seems to have. 2578, that's booking it. 2604, so 2200 essentially out of the Pistola. 2600 out of something like that carbine length 16 inch barrel. But the reason why we're all here, what I've been looking forward to all day, let's get out those watermelons, make a mess, see what happens. Put in the comments down below, which one do you think is going to make the most kablooey? That 1100 some, 115 grain Remington, 1100 some, 108 grain Norma, or the crazy fast 2200 Liberty Civil defense 50 grains I'm gonna send all these at the watermelon out of this because there's a lot more people walking around every day carrying one of these than one of those carbines so there's some real world science out here let's just see what happens should be pretty cool all right guys I'm back at six or seven yards here goes the Remington 115 grain FMJs Do we even hit that thing? It's got juice coming out of it. We hit it dead center. Let me show y'all just so you believe me. There's the entrance. We hit it dead center. But did nothing to the watermelon but juice coming out the bottom. And then uh, you can see there what happened on the back of it. So no explosions there with a full metal jacket. It definitely smells good though. but. We're going to roll this over here on the side and feed the deers with that thing or something. Alright guys, now here we go. Same thing with those Norma MHPs, 108 grain. They were 1100 some odd feet per second. Try to hit this one dead nuts like we did the other one. Similar 
results, at least on the front. Let's check it out. Bunch of y'all thought that was going to explode everywhere. I kind of did too, but is that one essentially a full metal jacket unless it hits something hard? I don't know, but I'm going to show you where I hit this watermelon. See there we hit pretty near center, right there. Now what's the back look like? What's the back action look like? I would argue that's about the same amount of damage on the watermelon from a full metal jacket. So, load this up in the truck for the deers too. Alright now guys, for all the marbles here, we got one of those crazy hollow point 50 grainers. Is it going to make a difference? I don't know. That's why we're here with the cameras to see what happens. See if I can get a good hold on that one too. Same spot. Big difference. Knock that sucker off the table. Very interesting. I'll show you the results here. Hold on. You guys just saw the footage. The first two just went straight through and that watermelon didn't even move. Now that third one with 2200 feet per second smacked the front of that watermelon and <whistles> banana peeled it open. Pretty cool, huh? And it actually made the watermelon fall forward off the table. but. The first two made a tiny hole in the front of the watermelon and a little bit bigger one out the back. That third one made a huge hole in the front and I don't even think it came out the back. I think it might have splatterized, but let's see if we can make some sense out of it. It's over here on the ground. So, this right here is the front. That's the front of it right there. Now, let's see if we can open it up. Looks like it pretty much just turned the inside of that watermelon to jelly. There's not a whole lot of meat left. And it did not even come out the back. So that entire 9mm dumped all of its energy right there on the front and on the inside. You can see the damage there is all the way to the back. So pretty interesting stuff. Always love doing these types of videos to see what happened. Pretty wild. There's still enough here for the deer too. But, there you have it guys, the whole question of the video, does the speed matter? Well, I think that watermelon would probably tell you that it does, but hey, checking out this 50 grain, 9mm, Liberty, Civil Defense stuff, pretty wild, pretty wild. 2200 feet per second out of that Smith, and 2600 out of that High Point 995 carbine. But hey man, let me know what you think about it. Uh, there's something to be said there. That zippy zippy speed and the fact that you'd be carrying less than half the weight and ammo on your hip, especially if you're carrying one of those 18 plus one or 20 plus one nine millimeters. That could add up some significant weight savings you're lugging around all day, but hey. Let me know what you think. I'm just a guy with the camera filming videos. Appreciate y'all watching. Make sure you're subscribed. Stay tuned for more videos, new videos every single day. Appreciate y'all. We'll see you on the next one. Hoo-dee-hoo!